podcast. Good, good. Happy to get you in here. Thank you. Appreciate you having me. Yeah, absolutely. I've been seeing you all over LinkedIn, so it's good to see you in person here as well. Thanks, man. Uh, how's the show going for you so far? It's been good. So, so many connections over the years. It's crazy yeah. to see how fast time flies. Yeah, yeah. And then people that you used to work with at different organizations or building out businesses. So, that's really fun to see. Yeah, awesome. And you're building out a business yourself too, right? Yeah, Journey. Yeah, back. Yeah, so yeah. Good. yeah, so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, we are a recruiting, training, and consulting company for mm. freight brokerages. Nice. Um, most of my experience is in the freight broker space. Had the opportunity in 2017 to co-found Molo. We sold that organization in November of 2021 to Arcvest. Um, the last three years, I ran our ship-facing sales group, which was a lot of fun. I mean, got a lot of experience, you know, understanding how to build, scale, manage large teams. Mm. And when I left the organization in May, I knew I wanted to start another business. I love being an entrepreneur. I yeah. love building. And it felt like a really good, natural transition. Also, a lot of the connections that I have are owners and CEOs around the C-suite mm. of brokerages. And most of our clients are anywhere between $50 million and about a billion dollars in annual revenue. Yeah. And we help them source high-level executive talent, high-level sales roles. We'll do you know, any role in a brokerage. Uh, but I think we do really well there. And then most of our consulting clients are sub $100 million brokerages that want to build scalable processes. So how do you build your ship facing sales team? What's a good carrier sales structure look like? How do you figure out your go-to-market strategy? And it's been a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. And, and I think, you know, too, it's really interesting. I love that you're touching on the, the education aspect, too, in that sense. So tell us a little bit about, I guess, like why, why do you see that as such an important thing to include in that? Yeah, so... I just love training, personally. I'm yeah. very passionate about learning and development, and mm. I think it comes from having really good coaches over the years, both mm. professionally and personally. My first coaches ever were my parents. They've always had my back. They're really supportive people. Yeah. And I saw that and then transitioned into the professional world and had really good sales coaches. And I think to myself, would I be where I am today if it weren't for those people that mm. took the time to help me understand how to do my job? Yeah. And I feel there's a massive gap in our space in terms of just entry-level training to get people comfortable with doing their jobs well. Mm. And that probably adds to the revolving door you see in terms of turnover. Yeah. And also, for someone to come into the space that's rather complex, yeah. a lot of new terms, new technology, it's really hard to get good without direction mm. or clear expectations. So want to just be able to help provide a platform for people to get good entry-level training to understand what brokerage is and how to do your job. We're starting with shipper-facing sales to begin okay. with, and we have some clients that are licensing our training to help get the team up to speed. And then we also have a product called the Academy, which mm. is our B2C product, which is for anyone that just wants to upskill themselves. They can take our courses, and nice. then it also allows them to network with other supply chain professionals. We had our first event last week that Rob had the opportunity to come to, which was a lot of fun. And so, oh, I saw you post about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we'll be doing more of those and then gearing it towards educational content. So we'll bring in subject matter experts on enterprise sales mm. or private fleet sales. How do you manage your account management team? And people that are part of the academy will get access to all the content and be able to network with other professionals. Mm. Very interesting. And I, I love that. I, I think and I, I think it's so cool, to, too, because we look at you know our space and I think supply chain in general, like, you know, a lot of people that end up in supply chain, uh, they didn't necessarily set out to be in supply chain, right? So, so like you said, there's a lot of new terms, a lot of things like that. And, and I think, you know, people come into the space and, you know, it's good to be able to have some type of resource to, to get that education and, and learn about those uh, different things. So so I'm curious, like, how is the show going for you here? What's some of the, the coolest things you saw? What things stand out to you? The show's been great. It's been really cool to see these interesting technological advances mm. in spaces that are way over my head and <laughs> just really complex because yeah. these people are thinking years ahead mm. in terms of what needs to happen to make supply chains more resilient or to bring different technological advances to help people be more efficient. It's been really cool to see different tech providers too that mm. I just haven't had a chance to get a, get a chance to meet. So I talked with Kevin at Green Screens AI and oh, yeah. I've seen them from afar on LinkedIn, but yeah. it's like really nice to just learn a little bit more about their product and kind of hear it firsthand. So that's been enjoyable. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And certainly a lot of tech going on here and a lot of great things happening as well. I mean, as you see kind of the, the tech developments and, and things here, I mean, I mean, what do you think is, is exciting for maybe the, the brokerage space going into the, the future or just supply chain overall kind of going into the, the rest of this year, maybe into 2025 a little bit too? So I think what's exciting is a conference like this brings so much creativity. Yeah. There are so many different organizations that do similar things, and it allows owners and CEOs and you know contributors to see what's out there. And then the competition is good. So there's a lot of companies that do some sort of freight tech and pricing, mm-hmm. or maybe you know invoice automation, or something specific that's a bolt-on to your TMS that's going to help your team be more yeah. efficient. Right? Tons of companies here that do stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They're making each other better by pushing the envelope to make sure that they're developing things that the market needs. Mm. And when you see that, you think about, okay, how does a smaller 50 or 60 person business yeah. compete with these large top 20 mega brokers? You have to utilize tools mm. that are efficient that allow you to get more out of the team that you have. Yeah. And there are really cool players here that are doing that and hopefully you know, good conversations are being had to be able to leverage some of those tools. And I think there's a lot of people that are very supportive of each other, even though they're they are competitive or competitors or they're, they could they could work in a symbiotic relationship too where mm. I see something that can help me and I can help, well, we can work this together. There's a lot of that here. We, we, we talked earlier to one of our guests about the, the vibe here and it seems to be very positive, very supportive of each other. We, everybody wants each other to do well. Yeah. Totally. I mean, actually, I love that because iron sharpens iron, right? So I had a, yeah. a chance to talk with Brent Orsuga top recruiter in the space, right, doing his thing. I love that because mm-hmm. it allows me to benchmark what it looks like to do really well in the space. Yeah. And we're going to push the pace to make sure that everybody's getting better. I had a chance to talk with Brian Schreiber of Sync Logistics Training, right? I'm like, that's amazing. I want to see you guys do really well yeah. because it raises the envelope for all of us. Like, we're all going to do better. Um, so it's really cool to do that. And, and I agree with you, Rob. It's nice to have that collaboration. Absolutely. Let me ask you about your training that's going on right now. Is this out now? Is it ready to go? Can people reach out to you and, yeah. and, and either sign up for an online thing? Are you going to do anything? I know you know we're both Chicago guys. Are you ever going to do any mm-hmm. in-person stuff? Do you have any plans to do any uh, you know fly-in sessions where people come in for a, a two-day seminar at a hotel and a, a conference room? Type? Yeah, I think we get there eventually mm. in terms of live, in-person, kind of bringing people in. First iteration, it's all going to be online, pre-recorded training that people okay. can access. And then we're going to have live and virtual sessions that people are who are part of the academy can access. So tune in, see someone talk about high-level enterprise sales. Maybe you're a newer sales rep and you're like, man, I would love to understand how to sell to Pepsi. Yeah. Craft, right? And, <laughs> you know, a training course can teach you the basic level stuff, but you need to hear from someone that's done it, mm. hear their stories and... Maybe you connect with them and shoot them a note afterwards yeah. and you're able to get more information. So I think we get there. There will be live sessions similar to like what we had for the happy hour, but more geared towards education. So mm. everyone gets a chance to network in the beginning. We'll have a session in the middle where we do some educational stuff and then break out and everybody can go enjoy it. I think a couple of years from now, we will be at the point where we can have some in-person larger yeah. sessions. And the Academy will be launching it in about two weeks. Gotcha. We have a wait list today. And you can access it on our website. Just click on the Academy. It'll let you sign up for the wait list. And then everyone from there will be able to sign up and, and get access. Can't to wait it. to see that. That's I awesome. Mean, I, yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm not the greatest salesperson in the world. My sales is, are, are deriv- derived from uh, my expertise in operation and my building relationships and just being a genuine person. I don't have that, you know, recipe. For the, the, I know there's a recipe out there. If you follow these steps, you're going to have a lot better chance of closing things so i'll i'll, I'll be taking part in some of that awesome I, yeah. I really appreciate your support rob you've always been there and just a, a very guys, good man. advocate for us and stuff we're doing so thank you turns out i met met this guy i think the first time i saw you was probably on a, a, a podcast with cassandra yeah for a long, long time ago during the you know right in COVID. and i have admired him for quite a while so i appreciate you great yeah. to meet you yeah totally it's been thanks fun. for being on <laughs> Yeah. Of All right, Will, it's a pleasure to meet you as well in yeah, person thank here. You. Keep thank up the good work. Me. I love the education focus, and, and I love the insights you post on LinkedIn, too. So I definitely thank appreciate you. it, and, and we'll be in touch. Um, so definitely check out Will's Academy and all the different education uh, that he's putting out into the world. Uh, and we're going to make sure he gets his socks there as Man, well. Let's go. All right. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of the show.